Hi guys, I will demonstrate how you can import your files into Unreal Engine 5 and set up them. So in here, in DNA Calibration Output folder, our files exported. And you know, nobody asked what the namings should be. That's why all the files will be in this name. And if you will work on different metahumans, you need to change the namings. So I renamed all of them, uh, Orc Myosin, Orc Body FBX, Orc Head FBX, Orc DNA. And I will import first our head file into our scene. So this is my default scene to test uh, my files. Also, you know that guy from previous tutorials. For the skeleton, choose face archetype. And for the physics assets, choose face archetype physics. For the import morph targets, click on true it should be clicked and normal import mod method import normals normal generation methods built in and go to downside for the materials i don't want to create any materials and i don't want to create any textures it's up to you and we can import all now i can import my body file into here for the skeleton metahuman base skeleton for the physics assets for me it is a medium but for you it should be all the same with your body mesh that you used inside maya male medium nrv and import morph targets on do not create material and yes import all again go to your org hat double click on it and inside here under the lod zero tab in here first we need to find the head mesh let's highlight every material yeah we find it it's in the zero section. We need to change the recompute tangents to all. It will help with the blend shapes of expressions. And go to here, LOD info, skin cache usage to enabled. For the build settings, use full precision UVs and Unreal Engine 4 compatible UVs. And you can press apply change. And then go to downsides for the animation rig for post-process and blueprints, face post-process and blueprints, and for the user asset data, add two elements and inside it DNA asset and asset guideline, and then you can save it. Now go to your body. Inside body, we need to change only the animation rig to material control board rig and post-process and blueprint to male, medium, and RV and blueprints. Again, it should be same. And yes, you can save it and close it. Now, one last step. We need to import our DNA, drag it to your scene and select org head or your mesh's name. Import and yeah. Now we can clearly see that it is working. Great. Close this and close this again. Now we can prepare our mesh. For that, you can use a material and drag it to here. I will use my own. I don't want to delete all of the clothing's hair all the time. So I will use this guy and select this. Inside face, change it to orc head. For the body, change it to orc body. And yeah, everything is working. Now it looks like Thanos. Okay. Let's check its controllers and I will create level sequence test and I will drag my metahuman inside it. Hi again. In my first attempt, for some reason, the controllers didn't appear. So I closed the Unreal Engine and open it back and it fixed the problem. It's just an Unreal Engine bug. It may happen. Just save your files, close it and open again. I think it will solve your issue and as you can see now it is working perfectly also i will show an unreal engine problem again for those who don't know if you select this guy and change it to a original metahuman material there's an issue in here as you can see and if you change it to your custom material or anything else, it will solve it. So if you have this issue, again, try to use different material and test it on maybe default material without a material. And yeah, this is how we do orcs inside Metapipe. Hope you like it and good luck with your metahumans. Bye.